y'all worked with uh, Curtis Blow early on on the production. Yeah, he did our first two albums. Curtis Blow did our first two albums. Um, he actually did our first hit song, which was Fat Boys, and he did the Fat Boys EP. Um, if you look at the first Fat Boys album, it's really not an album; it's an EP. It's only got eight songs. So a lot of people get confused with the point that we got like 15, 16 songs in it. There's only eight songs in that, on that EP. But Curtis Blow did the production along with Larry Smith and Davey DMX. And, um, you know, it pretty much made a classic. So Kurt was very instrumental in our success at that time. And he did our second album, too, which was um, Fat Boys Are Back. You know. Wow, wow. Now, uh, like I say, I wasn't even born yet, but was Curtis Blow, uh, the Curtis Blow as we know him today, was he already known or was he still up and coming at oh, that yeah. time where you were working together? Oh, no, Curtis Blow was the first solo rap superstar before LL, okay. before Rakim, before Big Daddy Kane, before right. Karis won. It was Curtis Blow. And Curtis Blow was the, the biggest name in hip hop, along with Flash Fury's Five um, and Sugar Hill Gang. So um, and he was the first rapper to appear on um, Soul Train. So Curtis Blow was huge. You know, he's like the biggest name in hip hop. And he started producing. So he was the first of his kind, the first rapper turned producer. Like you see a Kanye West now or Dr. Dre. Um, right, right. You know, it was Curtis Blow who first did that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people they don't give it up for Curtis Blow. He should get a, yeah, should they get a whole lot of more props than he get, you know. Yeah, he should have been the first or second rapper inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame easily because Curtis Blow was like I say, he was the first rap solo rap superstar. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Um, so man, y'all came out. I would say. I do remember uh, the Fat Boys as a kid. It's, it's like y'all always represented something cool, something yeah. fun. It was always fly. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, how did y'all transition from, you know, doing hip hop to making movies? How did you get into that? And what was that experience like? Um, well, the Crush Groove movie that we did with Run DMC and Sheila E. And um, I think LL was in it, Beastie Boys and Curtis Blow. Um, that was presented to us by um, Warner Brothers Studio for a writer. He came on tour with us. At the time, we were touring at Run DMC, um, Houdini, um, Curtis Blow. We called it the Fresh Festival Tour. We was on the, the second length of the Fresh Festival Tour, and they wanted to do a hip-hop movie. And they wanted us and Houdini and Run DMC to be in it. I think Houdini turned it down because there wasn't enough money in it. So um, Run DMC and us um got the roles for that particular movie and after the success um or the popularity that we had in that movie um disorder i mean not just all these in crush crew we got a three picture movie deal and the first movie was um disorderlies so it was yeah. like um it was a big thing at that time because breaking had came out when well, you had wild style you had breaking then you had beat street and then Crush Groove came out. And I think once Crush Groove came out, hip hop just took it, you know, it just went to another stratosphere. Because it was um it was crazy when that movie came out. There was riots at all these movie theaters around America. You know, people were fighting <laughs> in the movie theaters because they were so excited to see rappers on screen, you know, especially at that time the top rappers were Fat Boys, Run DMC, and Houdini. So everybody was just excited. I don't think it was anything like they wanted to be malicious. They were just excited, you know. Right, right, most definitely. Now I'm trying to think. Crush Groove is is that the one um, with with the all you can eat? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Crush Groove, man, that's a classic scene. I still remember that. All <laughs> you can eat, <laughs> y'all was getting it. <laughs> yeah. Man. You yeah. know what I'm y'all stole the show most definitely, man. That's amazing. Um, like you say, y'all got a three picture deal, so. I mean, were y'all the first people in hip hop to do that? Yeah, we were the first ones with our own to be featured in our own movie. I think Run GMC came out with Tougher Than Leather maybe like um, a year after we did um, Disorderlies. But um, yeah, Hollywood wasn't really looking for rappers at that time, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. to give us a, a three picture movie deal was, was crazy. So um, it just took uh, our popularity to another stratosphere. Man, man, I got to salute you because 
y'all planted a lot of seeds and y'all um help sprout and inspire future generations you know look at m how many hip-hop artists is actors now even making their own movies you know y'all was like the first yeah. people to take it to that next level and then like i say y'all always was fly y'all always could flow and then you inspired the the heavy set you know god like the, the big puns and the biggie some of the best right. lyricists we've ever seen I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm almost for certain that they was inspired by y'all most definitely yeah, I think the, the perception of rappers at that time and the look was rappers had to be a certain size. You know what I mean? Um, but I think once we came out, it was kind of like you can be yourself. You don't have to be a certain size. Um, you can be a big guy and have fun and the lady's going to come anyway. They're going to come to, you know what I'm saying? So I think with Chub Rock and um, Heavy D and uh, Big Pun and Notorious B.I.G., and even look at a Rick Ross to this day, you know, mm -hmm. it's just a lane that we kind of open for the big for the big guys, you know. So, and definitely, it just made the industry look at the big rappers or the big guys rather, like you know, this can sell. They don't have to be a size twenty eight in the waist kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that was mm -hmm. um that was a big thing for us to open that lane for future rappers. Right, right. Not even just sell, but be the best. Some of them guys is the best ever. Oh, you yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. That's amazing. That's definitely amazing. Yeah.